Greetings, Rob Simpson with you for a Simmer in 60 post game from the American Airlines Center in Dallas, Texas, where the Seattle Kraken defeated the Dallas Stars 5-4 in overtime in Game 1 of this Western Conference semifinal. What a night of hockey for a lot of different reasons. First of all, the Kraken deserved to win the hockey game. They were the better team throughout most of it. Pete DeBoer, the Dallas Stars head coach, would admit that afterwards. Uh, Dave Haxtell, the head coach of the Kraken, felt pretty much the same way. He was pretty happy with most of the performance. But with a 4-2 lead going into the third period, the Stars scored, gained momentum, came in waves, mistakes were made, and all of a sudden, bang, bang, it's a 4-4 game. We're going to OT. Yanni Gord, the hero for the Seattle Kraken with a little spin play, bouncing puck near the net, just decided to whirl around and fire it, went short side and won the hockey game. He was the hero for Seattle. The hero clearly, and probably the best player on the ice in this hockey game, Joe Pavelski, comes back off concussion, played game part of game one against Minnesota, missed the rest of that six game series due to a concussion, comes back tonight, well, just had four goals. That's all. Just four goals for Joe Pavelski. So a pretty good night. Both goaltenders had huge saves at various times. I'll tell you what, Philip Grubauer with a couple of enormous saves in overtime to keep the Kraken alive and allow Yanni Gord to score that uh, game winner. 44-35, the shots on goal in favor of Seattle. Their PK was a perfect 0 for 2 or 2 for 2 in killing the penalties again tonight. They have killed off 18 of 20 in the postseason. It is red hot. So we'll see if the Kraken can keep that going. They have a one nothing lead in the series. Game 2 here back in Dallas on Thursday night. Till then, 5-4, sudden death overtime. Seattle wins it. Rob Simpson, SeattleHockeyInsider.com, a Simmer and 60 postgame.